knoweth ye verily not, when thou comest to the final judgment, wishest thou ye had not been quite so naughty. Hindsight, with your host, Brother Ovino. It's no bowl of cherries, is it? I'm talking about life, of course. And many a poet has struggled to capture its essence. Milton called it the blotter of the soul. And Martin Luther cynically referred to it as the desk caddy anchoring mankind to the ground. The Germans, of course, had their own word for it. Clip cup stick, or little magnetic cup that holds paper clips. See? Our drama tonight is about life and about a bunch of smart Alex who mess around and then get what they deserve. I see our cast is assembling for the drama. We're ready. And we appear to be ready for a drama which we call a waiting room. A waiting room. I was never so terrified in my life. I thought we were goners. Little Petey didn't even cry when the lights went out. The prices we pay this guy, you think he could have his office in a building with a half-decent elevator. Hey, he saw the elevator jerked a little bit and the lights went out for a minute. So far. Did you see the way the elevator operator looked? Really weird. Yeah, hear yeah, you. Yeah. Looked half dead. All I know is, I wouldn't want to fall 40 stories in an elevator. That could make you dead. Hey, y'all. Uh, this magazine here is three years old. That's funny. Mine, too. Boy, the doc sure is late today. What time is it? Uh, it's funny. What's funny? The clock is stopped. Stopped? That's odd. Doc has never been this late before. <coughs> Can't you shut that shit up? Man, I'm flipping out. Where's the doc? I saw this show on TV the other night about this bunch of people who were trapped in this room. And it turned out they were all dead. Right. We're dead. Oh, stop! You're not scared. Not be dead. Dead. Not no, 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 Look, I just pinched myself, and I felt it. Out! 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 See? No, dear. Pinching is for dreaming. This is dead. I, I don't know why, but I feel compelled to tell you about myself. You see, I'm a successful man, but only at the bank. I take a pill to get up in the morning. I take a pill to go to bed at night. I take a pill for my ulcer. I played around with my secretary. And my kids. My kids would rather play with my dog than with me. And my wife, she didn't know, but I mortgaged our house to pay off my gambling debts. I guess I'm no success at all. Me, I'm a football player, but in the game of life, I'm just a bench warmer. I took too many timeouts to pop pills, and tomorrow I was gonna throw the biggest game of all. I was gonna kill myself. Since we're all dead, I guess it's okay to say that. Petey here isn't quite legal. And this isn't the first time I've met Mr. Ambrose. 
This here is your PD too, Roger. Yes, I'm a sex symbol. People have a word for me. Tramp. I'm the kind of girl mothers warn their sons about. But what's the difference? Now that we're dead, I'm just the same as anyone here. Anyone. Anyone. I, uh, uh, I, uh, I, I like Tony Orlando and Dawn. <laughs> This drama had a bit of surprise, didn't it? All those people were pretty stupid to confess that stuff about themselves, seeing as they weren't dead. It only goes to prove our moral. Don't trust anyone until you're sure you're dead. Brother Ovino wishing you hindsight. 